Real Rejects got invited back to WonderCon. Come geek out with us in person Sunday, March 31st. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time to X-Men 97. I am overjoyed as a fan of this show. How you feeling, Greg? Well, Koi, I decided that at like two, three in the mornings, I will binge watch this show. And now it is all just a massive blur. Watch <laughs> 10 of the last episodes late last night. I am officially sick of X-Men. I do not <laughs> want to watch this show. Well, you're talking, I'm going to switch into this beanie, Koi. <laughs> haven't rewatched the entirety of the original like Greg did it to in the morning, the best time to retain anything. But I do have a lot of comic book knowledge, so I'm excited about this being from the show perspective in a blurry haze of insomnia. <laughs> and from a comic book perspective, I think it'll be a unique way to watch the show. Please leave a like so we know you liked this insanity. And also, please do share this because we want to keep making these throughout the whole season. If you want to watch this in its entirety without gaps, please head over to Patreon where the super sexy rejects get the entirety. You can also find exclusive watch alongs that John and Greg do over on Patreon. So without further ado, x -Men episode episode one and two. Reject Nation, you may have seen me from time to time pull out my phone on screen over the past year with this eye-catching Marvel case. Got it from a company called Case Defy Gear that I love. And luckily for me, it's also today's video sponsor. I lucked out because they now have the Marvel Case Defy Iron Man collection. So you can put a suit of armor around your phone. See what I did there? Like with this armor activate case, it's not just a case, it's your shield. Or the Iron Man suitcase and mask case, it's power and style embodying the spirit of Iron Man in classic red or sleek silver. Or the arc reactor case symbolizing the heart of Iron Man. And for the thinkers and dreamers, the blueprint tech case is your canvas. And of course, the classic Iron Man logo case. You can also charge up in style with the Iron Man 2-in-1 MagSafe charging dock. More than just a charging dock, it's a tribute to Marvel's legendary hero. And I just received the Iron Man Armor Up MagSafe set, which comes with a snappy card holder stand and snappy ring holder. Its functionality meets Iron Man flair. Seriously, it's really cool, actually. Let me show you. So this card holder keeps your essentials at hand while doubling as a stand. And the ring holder is a sleek ring for a perfect grip and stand combo and spins your phone into action like Stark Tech. Woo! Yeah. So if you want any of these upgrades for your phone that offer high quality protection, echo friendly options, and designs that scream I am Iron Man without needing to snap your fingers, you get what I mean? You can head over to casetify.com today and check out their Iron Man collection. I really do love their products a lot. I've had a couple of their phone cases for a while. And suit up because it's time to bring your A game, people. Thank you again, Casetify. Oh, yes. Immediately, yes. Uh, journey through the animated. That was that was wonderful. Oh, <laughs> oh a new intro, kind of. Oh, and it's widescreen. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my inner child. Oh, shit. This is so much magic and my favorite storm haircut. Oh, I'm Jack. This is so good, man. I'm Jack. <laughs> I'm morphing the you title the credits. Yes. Oh. I love how they're doing the same motions. Yeah, they like reanimated in a little flourish. There she is. God, it's so refreshing. Now. Oh, Bishop's yeah. in the good credits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bishop and Morph are two uh, main additions. added teams. Okay. And I feel like Jubilee got a little extra time. <laughs> I don't know if that's just memory. <laughs> uh, this is great. Oh, is... <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> new. Oh, it's sinister. Magneto. Yes, the big conflict. Well, Xavier's here. Xavier has to come Ooh, back. Emma Frost looked different. Very excited. Yeah, Xavier must. Yeah. I'm I'm really excited. That was so magic. That was wonderful. To me, my X-Men. Yes. Got a bit of a cyberpunk flair. I <gasps> Morlocks! Professor Charles Xavier. The mutant leader's assassination last year by former NSA agent Henry Gyrick has spurred increased sympathy toward mutants despite their strange powers. <laughs> Restricted colors. Ready to share a future with those who they did such a good job. The animation looking like a blend. And more after the break. Oh, Friends of Humanity? Yep. Ten grand for every mutant we nab? Says he's using them for target practice. Pew. <laughs> Dark. Pew. Please don't hurt me. I'm Roberto da Costa. Sunspot. Name a price. Money's not an issue. Beauty thinks it's about cash. Funny. What's this freak's trick? Wolverine. <laughs> Clawed him. I am begging you. I didn't ask for this, okay? I was born this way. Ain't that the rub. Iceman. Or Storm? Uh, looming. Grab a Sentinel Blaster and spread out. 
Oh shit, Sentinel Blaster Cannons. Oh, like they retrofitted Sentinel tech. Oh, yes. I'm so glad the expert are back. I ain't afraid of you, you witch. Then you are a fool. Oh, awesome to see her using her powers on humans. <laughs> There's actual violence in this version. Go over so well. I believe Bishop for striving to resolve matters peacefully. Real peaceful storm. Definitely updated action. Yeah, they're not just throwing people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or did these dirt bags get upgrades? It's a bit like um, Vulture's crew in um, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Oh yeah. Cyclops. The old music. Yes. Name Cyclops. Definitely the good guy. <laughs> Hang tight. Cyclops with some swag. Finally. <laughs> Using oh. concussive blast defensively yeah. is so dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bit of that what if animation style. Yeah, when it goes 3D and uses the Y and Z axis is cool. Get down. That was a cool use of Sentinel Hand. Giant blast. Oh, son of a bitch. How'd scum like you get your hands on Sentinel technology? You freak shows think we wouldn't find a way to evolve too? Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't! <laughs> Just open your eyes, Cyclops. <laughs> Not <wrong. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow! There it is. Daily yeah, Bugle, Hellfire Club. Who's missing? I can't, I couldn't see. You stopped the bad guys, saved the kid, got home safe. <laughs> These bad days needed me more than you did, Mona me. Yeah, but crop top. We have to stay vigilant, no matter how good things seem out there. The last few months have been rough, what with the professor being gone and all. But sugar, if you don't simmer down, you're gonna die of a stroke. These are good voice casts. Yeah. Cyclops. And good ketchup exposition. Oh! Scott. Oh, morph. it's morph. Yeah. I'm a fool. <laughs> Dream of a better future where both human and mutant live free of your total disdain for fun. <laughs> but I would prefer it be avoided. That's kind of cruel. It is dark. Look like Cyclops about to have that stroke. Maybe this hell. <laughs> How would that have helped, Gambit? Oh, pregnant Jean. Pregnant Jean. Well, can everyone just please behave? This is a school after all, and we need to be role models for our guest. That kid's our only lead to where those extremists got their hands on Sentinel tech. I wonder if Sinister's gonna come back into the fray now that she's pregnant. He was in the opening credits too, so I feel like there was definitely gonna be some Summer's DNA tampering. <laughs> also had a lot of cosplay potential in these costumes already. Orwell's Animal Farm, foreshadowing. Salutations and welcome. I'm blue, very blue. <laughs> Great voice cast for Beast here. Name's Jubilee. One day life's fresh, then the next day you're waking up to a blue monkey singing Mozart as he tinkers with doohickeys. Simeon analogies, Jubilee. Shame on you. This guy's in the Jubilee role of what she was in the pilot for X-Men. Great call. <laughs> How fares the boy? Besides a cavity and a layman's existential fear of metaphysics, <laughs> Mr. DaCosta <laughs> here is in perfect health. I need to go. Where's my jacket? <laughs> We're more interested in the weapons those creeps had. How did they get it? I wonder if Gyra gave it to them. Just give us the data, figure this out. Make sure you're safe, and then you can go do whatever a kid like you does. At least say there's something to do around here besides listen to Mozart. To the mall! Go to the mall! Hear me. Humanity's days are over. Magneto, my favorite. As we build a bright mutant future. Video games are for nerds. Oh, it's no game. Oh, fun. danger room. It's the danger room. It's where we train. That's Magneto, the professor's ex-bestie. <laughs> what can you do? Fly? Teleport? Shoot gold balls from your body? That'd be weird. Shoot gold balls. There's an X-Men named Gold Balls. The mechanics of the danger room I've never quite understood. Yeah, the physical from <laughs> abstract. <laughs> yeah, it's got a... Show the lady some yeah, respect. There he is. So scary, Jubilee. Can we stop now? Computer and program. 
Scary enough for you, bub. It is cool to step back into the world with just sleeker, cooler camera work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's directing. Yeah. I'm impressed at how it feels like the old line work mixed with today's 3D. Definitely. Someone's putting this stuff out there. Dr. Cooper, what about Bolivar Trask? Trask's been missing ever since his inventions tried to swap out President Kelly's brain with a sentinel computer. Wow. When cardio wraps, maybe you can spare the calories to go make sure he didn't build mm. another one. Trask is definitely back. Charles Xavier was a dear friend of mine. It's why I urged the UN Council to work with the X-Men. A little trust, Scott. Professor loved to say, trust happens when actions meet words. Oh. <laughs> I like that Jean's so powerful and having her pregnant's like a, a, a way to keep that from having her in the field. So it's escalation mm. and like the danger, it, it allows a ticking clock. You're too hard on yourself and the team. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake instead of doing our danger room drills? And the professor would shout, your childish hijinks have cost you five demerits, young man. He would shout, you're going to get her pregnant, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a condom, Scott. <laughs> the team, they'll always be family, but with the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men. Or just kick them out of the mansion. Leave the team? We were the professor's first students. The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Our son will need us more. Hmm. Search for identity for Cyclops. Or am I the leader? Am I a father? Yeah. It's okay for you to let go. Are we going to meet Cable and realize that Nathan Summers <laughs> in belly, out of belly? <laughs> oh, jeez. Take that nose of yours and go find the kid. And take Jubilee. All of you could stand to act a little more like X-Men. Go with them. Hey, now, we didn't do a dang thing. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Gene may dig the Boy Scout routine summers, but I don't much go in for being bossed around. Damn. Logan, find Roberto. Please. I was a little worried about his voice in the trailer, but I like it. Yeah, it sounds great. What Gyrick did was pretty horrible, but want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. <laughs> oh, he's really going to have to rise. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask, the man who killed Charles Xavier. Skyrick. Kids here, but there are too many damn sets. Looks like we split up. Nice place to pass a good time, eh, hey, Shell? Eh, eh, he said it, he said it. He said, he said share. He said it, he said the thing. He said the share. She wants to be able to touch every one of these people. Yeah. I mean, how hard would that be to watch people dance and like, oof. Thought you were going to slice Summer's head off back there. Want to talk about it? Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, Morph. I know what's wrong. How? Why, I'm Jean Grey, humble telepath extraordinaire, and I'm having the most beautiful baby in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you on the sidelines, watching our exhausting perfection every day. School's no place for a baby. Gene knows as much. You don't think they're leaving the team, mm. Morph. Gene's leaving. Oh. Poor guy. He wants to raise that baby. The original felt like a mature kid show. This is getting more of like a mature teen show. Yeah, so. it doesn't feel adult by like those standards, but it definitely feels like it's the people like that the watched it then would watch it now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Jubilee. Jubal E. I wonder if they notice uh, she's a mute because <laughs> of the fireworks. Is that why you didn't use your powers against those goons? Didn't want to rub their faces in it? It's like me and my says, Jubilee. These like they should be there. Live and let live. Don't I know it, Bub? Heavyweight Ram. <laughs> Gray Cyclops, find where these bad boys are coming from before things get too hot to him. She was just exposing her powers all over them. Yeah. Did you honestly think we'd roll over and let mutants take over the planet? Yet your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Sucker. Normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Kyrix Reich. I should not keep showing off my black and gay friends. Tolerance is extinction. <laughs> oh! Tolerance is extinction. How woke this show is! <laughs> But we both know you're no Charles Xavier. I'm not Charles Xavier. He'd reason with you. <laughs> He'd do everything in his power to save you. From what? You? No. 
But have you met my wife? Hatred weakens your <laughs> mind, Mr. Gyrick. Wow. Cerebro amplifies my psychic powers, allowing me to penetrate your thoughts from any distance I please. Wow, that's very anti-Xavier for this moment in time. We need backups. I know a place. Manipulating from within his mind? Yeah. yeah, without permission. Something's wrong. Someone else. Who's in there? Trippy. I really hope we get the live action version of these suits. Oh my god, Oof. evil baby. Dune part two. <laughs> <laughs> Cable? I don't think in the show Cable is the son of Oh, they didn't do that? I, I Cable's in the show, but I don't I don't I don't think they made that explicitly clear. Okay. Because they said he, so it's not hope. Behold, mutant and despair, for I am death. I am Master Mode. Whoa. Judgment Day. Very Terminator 2. Very. What I felt. We have to stop Trask. Now. Strange, so she's getting like visions of the future now. Yeah, or like what he was planning? There will be no dismembering, Wolverine. We know that. Nah. Weight loss. <laughs> we get this done by working together as a team. Think you can do that, Logan? Jeez, Dad. Keep buzzing in my ear. What would we do if we ever lost you? <laughs> Wolverine sounds more Nixon. Hang on, <laughs> in that scene, that was the trailer scene. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was a cool shot. Striking. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Very cinematic music. That was cool. Teamwork. Solid work, team. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it. Great job, call guys. Call <laughs> from the sky. He's going to use the optic blast to buoy himself. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, the way they have realized. Cyclops is such a it, boss in this. Even the backdrops and everything, it feels more like a painting than before. Oh, and it's I'm... extremely refreshing after season five. For <laughs> <laughs> to me, my X-Men. There it is. <laughs> Hero poses. I'm glad so much the trailer was episode one. I feel like we're going to get like a Guy fresh show. Me you are coming. Wow. Even in prison, he has friends who know the mutant agenda must there he be is. stopped. We don't want to fight. Wow. Devilish. But you're still animals, and you need to be put down. Final warning, Trask. I like how it's like just red and purple re representing the sentinels. Mm -hmm. Oh, like zombie sentinels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this must be super traumatic for Morph. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this makes you on Pizza Hut. All those tie ins. <laughs> Greetings, enemy mind. Might I induce you to a change of heart? <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful involuntary friendship. <laughs> oh, he's thawing this. Okay. He's just driving a sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> Absorb! Awesome. Great teamwork and power use. <laughs> Woo. Oh! Amazing tracking shots. Give him the forecast. <laughs> That's right. She's so cinematic. Give her a movie. They really do realize her like a god. Heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Cool. Corpses fall into the ground. You underestimate us, mutant. Here it is. Fastball special. Oh, that's right. For some reason, I didn't think it was coming so soon. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. The amount of propelling they do. <laughs> amazing. Awesome. Off, off with your head. Oh, that was amazing. You know, ever since Xavier died, you guys work way better. This is just a concentrated you, effort. You guys are just much better like, fighters <laughs> and uh, work together Visually as a team. dynamic. You know how to bounce off each other's powers better. The banter's better. <laughs> Xavier dying is the best thing that happened to you. Guys. Congratulations, Cyclops. That humanity itself is obsolete. You've no idea how it feels to be left behind by the future. Left behind. Revelations. Yet again, humanity is in the X-Men's debt. We all win when men like him fail. You sound like Charles. He would have been proud today. To be honest, it was a team effort. It was. Oh my god, his clothes are actually <laughs> torn up. They can do that at Marvel? <laughs> When I first came here, I ran away, just like you. The team had saved me from Sentinels at the mall, but this place, a place where I could be me. Sure, Cyclops still won't let me fly the jet, but this isn't some weird school. Cyclops racist? <laughs> <laughs> it's a family. A family that Two of them you. that feel like outsiders. <laughs> Sounds nice. Your parents don't know, do they? Come on, Sunspot. Yeah! Solar energy. Still figuring it out. Makes me strong though. Whenever I do this, it just reminds me that I'm different, that I'm lying to them. I don't even want to be myself. More reason why you should be part of the school. What's your job? Hot and rich? Don't forget single. Page me. I got a jet too. <laughs> Maybe I'll even let you fly it. <laughs> Maybe ride it, you know what I'm saying? Gene and I have an announcement. You're bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice and normal. Uh, Cyclops and Gene were the first X Men. If they're gone, who the heck is going to lead the team? Storm! Oh, huh. right on cue. Charles Xavier was the finest man I knew. Despite our differences, he never ceased to have faith in our friendship. Nor forgive <laughs> Magneto, what are you doing in our home? Your home, I beg to differ. <laughs> the last will and testament of Charles Francis Xavier. Everything he built, everything he fought for, belongs to me. This is a weird idea. X-Men. I feel like he just weaponized the X-Men. Charlie Feldman! My friend Charlie's one of the people that made this show. I'm very proud. Charges, objectives, okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's uh, a cool post credit. I mean, a credit idea. Yeah, it's updated. Little video game. A lot of it is the same motifs, but just more updated. All right, let's watch the next one. I like the <laughs> ramp up to it. Yeah, the undercurrent music then it builds. Oh, oh part shit! Of the team that's in his cool. very nineties outfit. <laughs> I can smell my old VHS of this. I feel it all. Oh. Phoenix! It's traveling <laughs> through cool. time. Were these in the last? Uh, I know they added a couple little things. This is I great. Mean, oh, Asteroid planning. M? Yeah. I'm even more excited for Wolverine and Deadpool now. Like, this is just immediately magic. Any sudden moves and the wheel could come crashing down. Come to me nice and easy. <laughs> Oof. The cassette plate. A Walkman. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow, there's got to be a lot of deaths here. Felt it. Felt it. Who's grabbing it? Is it Magneto? Magneto, it's got to be. It's metal. Ooh. Altruistic Magneto. Art? Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Saving human? <laughs> but while it's too soon to tell how recent events will impact mutant-human relations... One thing is clear to both humans. He's going to feel like he has to stay to keep an eye on Magneto. Yeah. Did the professor not trust it's a, me? Oh, yeah. Creates doubt within him. That makes sense. He has to overcome it for being leadership and father. It's a smart way to create inner conflict within the X-Men. I really like it. And Magneto's led the X-Men a ton in the comics. And after the X-Men are, are finally being looked at as heroes, they yeah, have the terrorists like, coming out. That's clever. This is our home, you pig. It's all we have left. All you dogs left us. Don't hurt Leech. The dead. Oh my god. Magneto can go everywhere. Yeah, he's so Omega OP. The indignity of your waste. <laughs> How unfortunate for you that I am the master of magnetism. <laughs> you coming from your life. Huh. 
damn, Magneto. What a force suited. for good he can be. <laughs> His suit is so much more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh. You shall never be afraid again. Wow. That's some iMovie transitions right there. <laughs> <laughs> the only I safe just... and sure way to destroy your enemy is to make him your friend, Mark Twain. The professor had a plan. Seen a lot of futures, but Magneto leading the X-Men. That's a new one. <laughs> Maybe we go change it back, no? Huh? <laughs> I have arranged for the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of Genosha. Yay. This is one of many mutant matters on which we can and will improve. Oh man, the strife. This is really interesting. Guess we can assume those jerks in the sewer are- Alive, but not unharmed. Hey. Morlocks weren't too bad. I did not consign those sapiens to the waste bin of history is proof of my desire to honor Charles Xavier's dream of mutant human... Still disdainful, but... Coexistence. <laughs> Let Jean scan your mind. See your real plans. No. You did it with Gyrick. I accessed Gyrick's mind for information. Using my powers to assess honesty is another matter. Oh, uh, that's the main reason to do it. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't trust this person. Read the mind. <laughs> I was under the welcome impression that you and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. Not a chance. <laughs> this baby doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Xavier wanted wrong. this. Maybe he was wrong. You have finally realized what I did ages ago. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. <laughs> By making him infallible, he gets more authority. But Magneto would have to change his entire philosophical belief on coexistence, though. Possessed by a malevolent cosmic entity intent on consuming all of existence, there was Scott, fighting by my side. The photo is back. I need to tell you something, and I need you not to judge me too harshly. Or tell Scott. Jean does have her dialogue a little bit more like a relatable human being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, written like a person. Yes, <laughs> He's a mutant. How do I tell him he's different? That the world will remind him of it every day. That he must always be careful. You wish him to be born human. Ooh. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. But then I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion, to this family, to a sister. Interesting. Makes sense the that she would. she'd feel over that, though? Yeah. That she would feel the fear about it, though. It makes sense. And her history and her powers, like... Can't shake this feeling that something terrible is coming. Boy, do I sound like a fool. You sound like a mother. Yeah, she's worried. I like that well, scene. Well, your little pep talk went about as smooth as oh, a dozen Oh, that's cat small ass. Store. I'm done. <laughs> this show was great. <laughs> when we parted ways, I told myself I needed this to protect myself from his psychic powers. But you were worried if you still felt how much he loved you. And yet, here you are, dragged in like a kitty cat's prize. Kitty Pride. Brought about a world more tolerant towards mutants. I am indebted to honor his last wish. I like how the painting is like comic sketchy. My past is hmm. too littered with error. Mine was too. Oh, what a great reflection. The reflection shot. of his evil. <laughs> I didn't go about demanding their trust. I earned it. I feared you hmm. would do your best to avoid being alone with me, Rogue. Ooh. Oh, is that not in the show? Oh, they got a thing. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't remember if they touched on it. Yeah, they were a couple for a bit. I watched at least 50 episodes of the 76. <laughs> I don't recall that. It's got to stay in the Did bag. I, this is the one I missed. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get sick dressed up that sexy for Cyclops. That's all for Rogue. I don't need my helmet. Nor do I need my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Take Ready. this all off. <laughs> We're here for Magneto. Think twice. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. Okay. It's kind of like they're like but a billion other things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a well thought out plan. So the iron in your blood. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yep. prove yourself. By order of the UN Commission on Superhuman Activities, I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. Okay. What I will generously assume is a fair trial. Will I earn your trust? That is how due process works. Going to the UN. They did it in the comics? Yeah. yeah. And like the leadership role has to be vetted similarly. I don't know if the UN actually has a military force. Is that a thing in real life? Like I barely know anything about the US. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to add the end of that. Too much. 
Oh, that's that image is uh, Uncanny X Men number two hundred. And offer a preview of the zeal with mm. which he would resume his quest to dominate this planet should he be exonerated today. It's crazy. The trial of the Punisher is happening right next door. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Folks outside are pissed. He's even getting to trial. Have you seen Scott? Oh, he's there with the others, making sure Magneto doesn't pull one of his stunts. If the president doesn't, it is not so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a crook. <laughs> I like the brown shirt homage to the brown suit. It's got oh, that yeah, flavor to it. Yeah, that yeah. energy. WWHIS, the news is also the Deadpool news. The same uh, channel. Good catch. Sorry, Daredevil, not Deadpool. Stir the pot, boys, and keep them distracted. I'll only have one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. How do you expect me to grow if you won't let me blow? Sorry, Gord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the cover of 200. Right there. Nicely done. My people's homes were burned to ash because we dared to call God by another name. My people hunted me with those who had once hunted them. I was a f- <laughs> Just them. There is a refrain. Believe differently. Love differently. Be of different sex or skin and mm. be punished. The oppressed become oppressors. Oh my God, he's inspiring. Your words, while kind, do nothing to heal those hurt by your crime. That's fair. You build robots to hunt us, callers to chain our power. I like how they reanimated moments from the classic. I have only ever acted to avenge crimes against my people. You would walk Charles Xavier's path? Not the worst thing that's don't go Magneto's way, don't you think? She didn't respond. <laughs> I don't know. I've been <laughs> to sleep with them. I'm conflicted. <laughs> Protest is a breach in the perimeter. They must want Magneto. And the judges, ma'am. What in the blazes did we do? <laughs> you gave a monster a trial. Now you are traitors to your kind. Oh, to play by the rules and still they come for you. <laughs> the biggest difference I noticed with this is the music. It's a little bit more film. Oh, well, the cinematography, too. It all feels much more movie-like. Logan, he's, he's here. <laughs> Apocalypse. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, that was great. I said Ween Salon. Len Ween invented uh, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating balls. Get out the <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> We're making a great case. <laughs> we are safe. <laughs> I am unable to ascertain the nature of the weapon on his back, but his armor is constructed from an energy-resistant titanium-laced alloy. You got a name? Executioner. Here to make sure gene freaks like Magneto pay for their crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all, Gambit. <laughs> Ice Cusner with the Sentinel Blaster is pretty cool. Round two, absorb this! Ouch. Hurt my friends? Well, now you answer to me. I think not just the action is cooler, but there's the drama around the action is better, too. Yeah, there's a sense of choreography and tension, not just one or the other. Ooh, we've got him right in the visor. No Ooh, now we can't aim. Your kind, you act like you got it so bad. Normal people have it hard. Ooh, fighting blind. We just have the dignity not to whine about it. Damn the struggle here. I hate your whining just as much as I hate you. Whoa, Whoa that's there she is. Oh, more. Oh, more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, great. All the X Men characters is going to become. Oh, he's got to decide about leading his team and... Whew. Rogue, fly Cyclops to Gene immediately. Magneto and I will protect the judges. Be careful, Storm. It's still Magneto. Circumstances do not offer us a choice. Man, there's a great tension to this. Mm -hmm. You, and call her Magneto. You. Well, now, who does she think she... Do not think. <laughs> Be silent. Heed my commands and you shall survive. Leader of gold team. I'm here. This doctor won't deliver our baby. Mind warp him. Can you use your powers to siphon his medical expertise? Excuse ah! me? Do what? I mean, she can't touch the baby. You all need to- <laughs> Sorry, sugar. Ah! Prep an IV and get this lady to a room. 
Did her powers really work that way? She gets the knowledge of the people, yeah. But it usually puts them in a coma or unconscious. Because yeah, yeah. she gets all the memories and experience. <laughs> what is he? Oh, wow. How biblical. <laughs> How their mob manners fare against the shock of good conduct. Wow. Yeah. You guys are feeding each other's darkness here. Oh, the powers combine. Make me go. Whoa. 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 <sighs> nope. Don't kill. Don't kill. Not don't, in front of don't everyone. Don't kill. <laughs> don't kill. Uh. You made your point. Whoa. Oh, that looks like all symbolic here. <laughs> it's pretty symbolic. <laughs> you made him a symbol. <laughs> Is it, yeah, her powers? Did he depower her? Oh, no. I cannot feel it, nor the moisture, oh, no. nor the air. What has he done to me? This was not what we wanted. Lies. Lies. This is your dream. Kill them all, Magneto. What must we do to be good enough? What a line. Is this the high road's destination? If so, I say as I have too many times before, never again. Let us go! go! Whoa! What's the game plan here, buddy? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah! What's the game plan here, buddy? <laughs> Dropping them from space, putting them in the sun, what are we doing? I like the attention to detail of how they're actually freezing up there. I would smite you all for what was done to Storm, but today I have saved you from your own. For an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of <laughs> Earth. Per literal perspective. Charles Xavier entrusted me with his dream, and it does not ask you to love or embrace my kind as your own. Oh, you're making a point. <laughs> This is a shared world with a common future, and that my kind, like yours, have the right to live in it. What an intense cutaway. I am trying to be better. So can you pardon all my crimes that I did prior? While I have you in space. Please. Do not... Make me let you down. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great. <laughs> Doesn't he need a name? I was thinking Nathan. Hey, Nathan it's Cable. Summers. Nathan Summers. Nathan Charles Summers. It's just whenever Cable would interact with Cyclops in, in the show, he never tracked like they were related, you know? I wonder if they'll retroactively do scenes from the old, but like with context. We will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Interesting. Poison. Dark roast. <laughs> I hear you and Jean have begun to make arrangements to leave. Does this mean you trust me to carry on Xavier's dream? The professor trusted you, and I trust him. Be wary. Be vigilant. Tragedy lures with fortune first. Tragedy lures with fortune first. Wow. I do like how they haven't dumbed down the dialogue at all. Yeah, especially with Magneto and Beast, who should speak with certain articulation. Inhibitor collars use radiation to temporarily neutralize our mutant powers. His laser rifle fired a concentrated dose of that same radiation. It affects genetics on a cellular level. How long? The effects appear permanent. <gasps> Damn, that is cruel. They're combining, like, Volume 1 of Astonish X-Men, Ease for Extinction. Like, they're doing a lot of really cool combining of classic stories so far. You, of all the X-Men, know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. My faith in your family's future is strong, and I cannot... Got a little X-Pajamas. <laughs> ...seen to feel another soul finally seeing yours. They're going to do life death. They're going to do the storm walkabout story. Fragile treasure. One we sacrifice so much to maintain. <laughs> Only to then sometimes watch it break in a blink that changes your life. Aww. We are no longer connected, Jean. 
but trust that I will cherish what we shared as X-Men, memories that already feel like a lifetime ago. Weren't you that woman on the UN? <laughs> TV television? <laughs> Yesterday? <laughs> Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... Okay. She's back! Jean? I need the X-Men. Rachel? What? Jean? Which storyline are they gonna do? What? Is that, is that daughter? Is that Madeline Pryor? Is that clone because of Sinister? Is that gonna be... There's so many things I could be! What a great two episodes. They I like that they uh, basically made a part one, part two, and that aired as like a movie. And then like this ending was the cliffhanger. Like, what a great format. Citizens of the reject nation, or should I say royal rejects, because that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months. It is personally my favorite way you can support the channel. Reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive RR designs that are up at the shop. We got a bunch of designs already, such as our Super Marvel Bros shirt my sister actually designed this one deadpool wolverine inspired my personal favorite one but then we also got our, like our number one bestseller the last daddy t-shirt which has pedro pascal from the last of us inspired carrying baby grogu we have loki's glorious balloon we also have our doctor who shirt which is full of a bunch of classic doctor who quotes on the tardis we have space babies of the galaxy we got ourselves some star wars inspired shirts we got a boys inspired shirt and we have a house of the dragon one as well pointing those out because obviously we have new seasons of those shows coming up and then of course you got a bunch of other designs as well like our bat verse one who influences the influencers another last of us inspired t-shirt and of course you know the classic reject symbolism t-shirts as well either one is an amazing way to support the channel and like i said you get to look good while doing it so thank you guys so much do consider going to rejectnationshop.com and also tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt please tag us we'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts thank you royal rejects see you guys soon yeah it was an amazing cliffhanger i think it was really smart too to end off where you know like the trailers ended exactly there yeah we don't know it's anything funny else how, like trailer the trailer ended where episode one ended so you know we haven't seen like, oh there's all new territory now right and the first episode i liked the first episode a lot and it, it was more of like the nostalgia feels and uh, I appreciated the update on the animation with the action sequences and stuff. And watching the X-Men uh, original series, I completely forgot that season five had a, uh, the final season had this like weird shift where the uh, different an animation studio. Yeah, it felt like oh, it was odd. It was, it was definitely <laughs> it was definitely the worst season is the one I was like, man, it's not great. And. <laughs> While there's some highlights to be had there, for the most part, no, it was, it was weaker animation and uh, the storytelling was really off. So to me, coming back into here, I just wanted this to kind of harken back a little bit more to the earlier seasons when it was more in its prime. And I think they did just that whilst st still keeping in tune with the flair of the 90s, but not being obnoxious about it. Mm. They still want it to be like lived in. And I appreciate how much more cinematic they have made it, whereas... Um, you know, the, it was serialized storytelling before, but it seems like this is like, it, OK, how I put it is the original series would be very serialized. And they're like, we're doing part one of Beyond Good and Evil or part mm. one of Dark Phoenix. And it was like especially serialized. And it seems like this whole season is going to be much more of a giant movie that they are telling. Yeah, I agree. I think the pacing is is exceptional and maybe even better than the original because I think they have an idea of their overarching stories. I think if memory serves, they've already greenlit a season two. So I think they know what they're building out to. And they fired and, the, the head writer. Uh, yeah. the, like last week yeah. or something. Like I just, yeah. But I, I'm curious. I mean, we don't know the details of that yet, but I'm really curious how far they formatted out for these arcs because what the original show did so well was tell very intense soap opera-esque stories because Chris Claremont and John Byrne 
two of the most iconic creators on X-Men always loved the soap opera Ness, and I think that was a big strength of the X-Men. So you've got so many characters, so many moving parks. You could have those overarching arcs as well as the little arcs amongst the characters, but also little arcs amongst individual comics and stories. This feels much more like it's going to have the big, broad trade paperback feel, but each episode's going to have like a comic or two feel. Yeah. So I, I like that it feels like a mix right now of E is for Extinction with some Life Death, with some Astonishing X-Men Volume 1. So Astonishing X-Men Volume 1 was Joss Whedon and Cassidy on art, and it was basically like, if you could cure your mutant hood, what would you do? Would you choose to? Would you not? And I like how that's reflected in Storm not having the choice and the guilt of Jean wanting potentially her kid to be not a mutant. So there's some of those elements teased in there. And that's that's what they tried to do with X-Men 3 unsuccessfully. And then the um, life death stuff is Storm and a walkabout of self-discovery of basically like I've been a kid on the streets. I've also been a goddess. What am I? Who am I? And by taking her powers away, I think she's going to be coming to terms with her humanity. And I'm curious if they maybe bring in Forge because it was her and Forge in the desert. And then the other thing, the E is for extinction, seems to be the very literal like Genosha and like bringing mutant kind into humanity and all those those elements there. And that was the um, new X-Men run that Grant Morrison did with Frank Whiteley that was really popular for a time, but and I feel like people don't talk about now as one of the big iconic X-Men runs. So I think they're being really smart with grabbing like a greatest hits, but not making it a direct translation, which sure. is kind of like what the MCU did with Civil War. Like you get the gist, but you change it enough where it's exciting. This feels like the X-Men 90s characters, but all the stories I just listed were 2000s yeah. like st- comic stories. So keep it to the root of this, but modernize the the, the type of stories you're telling because this feels very fresh and modern, but it's got like, you know, 90s elements to make the nostalgia feel authentic, not like it's beating you over the head with it. Yeah, which is the line they needed to oh, ride. 100%. Because if it was exactly where we left off, it would be with that season five. But even if it was <laughs> exactly where we left off with season four, while well, sure there might be a camp of the audience that maybe did ultimately prefer that. I think they haven't normally when, when something's coming out, I've noticed Disney will kind of do this thing where they go, Hey, go rewatch uh, these select episodes of X-Men or go rewatch mm-hmm. X-Men before you watch this. Uh, but they didn't really give the audience that much time between the first trailer and the release date announcement to do that, believe me, I know they he didn't tried. really give that much time. <laughs> Had to skip some episodes. Uh, but I think that was kind of intentional, so that way you can take this a little bit more on its own merits. Like, watching this, while there's a little bit of touches that I do feel like, ah, they're bringing this back, they're carrying this, even right down to the storyline with getting rid of uh, the powers. Mm-hmm. The, uh, or I, I, it was either season one or two. Everything's kind of a blur to me about it, but there's like season one or two where... There was a scientist touting it's the episode. We got the angel introduction mm-hmm. and they were going to remove the powers and, and, and the communities of mutants were like, oh, we should sign up with this scientist. End up finding out this was a, uh, a ploy where Mystique was pretending to be a scientist who could do it, but it was all to manipulate to serve Apocalypse. And now they're actually doing that integration of the story where they can get rid of the mutant gene. And I like how... They are setting our our, our characters in ways that I do find compelling. Gene uh, being pregnant, uh, having having a child. Scott having to be a father. What is his position as being a leader? I think that Magneto was easily one of my favorite characters in the uh, in the watch of, of X Men. Mm-hmm. I, I I found myself constantly um, very compelled by his point of view of going. You know, sometimes I'm on Magneto's side. Yeah. Because uh, humans are like, you're all assholes in this show. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun Every, of, yeah. of the X-Men is like, yeah. people make bad decisions in our world. Yeah. So when they do it against X-Men, we're like, yeah, yeah. people do suck. Because everyone here is the uh, most human. It seems like 99.9% uh, of you are uh, xenophobes and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. So like, you got no real other choice. So I think it's really interesting of how they're drawing Magneto because he's not so, he, he's, he, he's clearly adjusting. Yeah. He's not just, all right, I've changed my I'm mind. Good. Like, even to before the judges, uh, he like takes him up to this guy, puts him in his terrain, and he's like, I'm trying. Don't let kill. me let you I down. Don't let me let you down. Like, to have the dual meaning, I thought was yeah. really great writing 
of don't let me let you down in terms of let me give you a chance to change, but don't make me kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought it was excellent because he's not, he isn't really fully reformed. <laughs> and because the trailer only showed the first episode, I was like, is it X-Men versus Magneto starting episode three? Right. I, I actually was tense throughout that segment of like, did he reform or was he trying to and failed? Like yeah. what storyline? Because Magneto's led the X-Men enough time in the comic books. They could have picked a storyline where it was for a day or it could be the whole season. It's really interesting having his internal conflict of like, I promised my friend I would try. Yeah. And, yeah. and trying is so much more interesting than succeeding. A story is about trying. What we do as humans is try. We always try to be better. Succeeding at being better is a short. Trying is, is fascinating. So I'm yeah. really excited to see the Cyclops try to be a father while trying to be a leader. Magneto try to reform like those elements are what the tensions from. That's why Claremont and Burns X-Men is so interesting. And that's why I, I love the choice to make Rogue with Magneto because like now Gambit's storyline is going to be a lot more interesting. Yeah, yeah. And so in the first couple episodes, we got a lot of characters. So yeah, we haven't really had time with most of them. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's too it's understandable. Though. Yeah. You know, it's a series for a reason. Uh, I'm I'm just waiting to see how it jives with me with Morph because I kind of, I, I, it could just be the fact that I'm adjusting to, oh yeah, I'm so used to Morph being like such a tragedy in, in the show and they've completely taken a switch where he's a lot more lighthearted. Yeah. Um, he's like almost Deadpool-esque. Like he's like just jokes and he and, is so jokes. No one seems offended at all by the, 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 the it is messed up. Some of these jokes he does. I don't know. I think it's kind of like weird showing up as Xavier. Yeah. Talk about having people have a difficult time with grieving. It's like the definition of gallows <laughs> yeah, humor. Like, like gallows it's, humor it's, to a T. You're like, you're impersonating a body, bro. Like, stop it. I need to move on. <laughs> 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 Do you know what this does to my subconscious when I see you? As yeah, I'm like, coping. Yeah. I, like, it's, it's, great, it's great it's in little, fights, but it's not walking around the mansion as the dead leader we had. It's, like, it's a little messed up. I think like Gene uh, has always had this kind of larger than life um, uh, very existentialism way of speaking. She never quite sounded human to me because mm, she was more yeah. Phoenix than Jean. Who was like, I am this deity. She's oh, it's always yeah. It's it's it really seemed like this the the prodigy of Xavier. I think that's one thing the show really got down right. Uh, but I never quite saw the c- chemistry in in the in the original between Cyclops and Jean. Mm. Because Cyclops, I'm such a stiff, and you know, and Gene, I'm always like, oh, or, and, and Wolverine, or Gene. Very yeah. so I, I think that they have humanized uh, Gene's dialogue a lot. I, I like her dialogue a lot more. It's still way too early on to like make a comparison. There are things about it that obviously, as a modern day viewer, I prefer. With the update of the animation action. Of to, to the cinematography re- is beautiful. I really God. enjoy the action. Like the scene of them falling out of the sky and like chopping up the Sentinel on the way yeah. down and all of them using their powers as a team defensively <sighs> and then offensively was so cool. The blast powers. The I've optic also, blast. I've really enjoyed, yeah, the optic blast use like in the in the Z axis was a blast, but I've also really enjoyed that Wolverine isn't the lead. Um, cause I, like he's fun, easy he's exciting, out. but he's not the lead. Just like in the comics, there are arcs where he's the lead, but the movies and a lot of like the properties we know in pop culture that aren't comic based, he's cool. So they make him the lead and cool. it's nice to kind of have him ebb and flow like he does in the books. There's more grit to the action and, uh, than before. And, uh, what I, I'm really hoping for, cause I think X-Men evolution did it and for sure the 90s series did it is Wolverine was constantly like threatening and whipping out his claws and then the blue yeah. line constantly. We got some of it with Sunspot. But, but he never, ever stabs a human. <laughs> Not one time does he stab a human. And it, it was, it was kind of like um, just false threats most of the time <laughs> is, is what Wolverine would do. And even if he would like get into a fight with Sabretooth or he might have used his claws, sometimes it would be happening off screen and we we didn't see it happen. So I understand, (laughs) but I think where we're at now with animation, with this being on Disney Plus, I I think we we would actually probably get a little bit more of that violence that we would want to see out of Wolverine. Same network as poor things. Exactly. Here we are. Some tobacco. Some tobacco use. (laughs) You know, that that movie's big, big tobacco industry qualms. Uh, But I also think they're they're characterizing him enough that when it happens, it feels more due. Like, I don't think we'll see a full berserker rage the way we want to, but I do think that we might see some, some, like, I like that the saber tooth scene was like treating him like a dog. 
Mm-hmm. Like there's an element of like he wanted to fight. Like that's what he wanted to like let off steam. So Bishop turned. I mean, um, Morph turned into Sabretooth. So yeah. he'd have an outlet. Like that's fun. I did not really care. Who's the new character at the beginning? Sunspot. Of- didn't really care for him, honestly. Well, he didn't have a lot going on. I thought it was annoying. I don't know. Spoiled brat kids. Of my yeah. Head. I don't give he's a- a- in the comics. He's a rich, like spoiled entitled, but you learn to like him because he is a heart of gold, but we haven't had time for the heart of gold. I guess I found nothing unique or charming about his personality and the, you know, like, yeah, I get it. You're a mutant. You haven't told your parents like, okay, I set up the struggle. Uh, I obviously like every time it shows, I'm not going to like roll my eyes. This guy. Say, oh, my God, I've already made up my mind. <laughs> you know? I've committed to hating you. Yeah. <laughs> nothing will change. I will not waver in this thought process. I didn't, Honestly, we never see him again. I'll be all right. We're probably going to see him again. He ends up leading the new mutants for a time. Sweet. Uh, he is also a character that uh, is able to like have some political pull as the character evolves. Like down, like current comics, he he's uh, sometimes working with the Avengers. Sometimes he's working mm. with uh, Beast. Sometimes like he's got things that his money allows him to have connections through. But it, you, we haven't been able to see any of his goodness. Just the arrogance so far. Yeah, okay. And whininess so All right. far. Well, but yeah, gives, he gets there. That gives me hope. Yeah, there's there's a purpose for his character beyond the eye line of Jubilee again. Because it was very much, like you said, the Jubilee character. Uh, and and again, this... this and in the first episode, like fighting Sentinels again, like it was a lot was which mirroring. Is smart. There, there was a poetry to it. Yeah, right? I think it's smart to bring us back to comfort and then immediately like Executioner. I don't think we've yeah. ever seen Adapted. Because we'll get used to action too. As cool as the action always looks, uh, you know, we get used to that. Yeah, I, I think the uh, the first episode being the most like the old show is a great way to bring us back to make us go, oh, we love this. I have familiar feelings. I legitimately could smell Pizza Hut. Like I, I felt <laughs> all of that. Because uh, do you remember the the Pizza Hut thing where they had the VHS tapes that they sold along with pizzas? Like mm-hmm. they literally had like this black case, red X through it, and you could buy VHS and X Men. That's I have the two the <sighs> first two episodes because of that. So and that's what I was thinking the whole first episode. I was like, this reminds me of episode Man. one, Pizza Hut. Or my brother has. I forget someone almost has it. But it's it's quality and nostalgia they did yeah. a really good job making it new but old yeah i enjoyed it Quinn. i i enjoyed it I enjoyed a, a lot admittedly I am, I am. a little more than i expected yeah. i was a little worried as we got I, closer especially with the firing of the writer i, I thought like oh god is this going to be like a piece of shit i wonder like i wonder if they didn't want that announcement out until after it was out because it really is optically dangerous like it's a very negative sign uh, we assume without knowing why it's just like why do you find the guy we love well, I, I, you know, like the X-Men animated show is, is a really good show. It's a, it's a really great show, but I, I, I still, th- I, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't, cons- it, it consistently felt dated to me, you know? I, it definitely is. And <laughs> yeah. And it's not like Batman, like, the animated like, series. Like I ha- you have to watch it in a certain, for me, I had to watch it in a certain frame of mind. Right. Same you know? with Spider-Man. And Spider-Man I, I, wasn't oh, yeah, allowed Spider-Man to like, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, like Spider-Man had to like throw people and like yeah. Morbius had to have suckers on his hands because he couldn't bite. Like there's a lot of stuff that was like, okay, the 90s cartoons are weird. Yeah. Like it's, it's still, I, what I was really surprised by with well, going back was I forgot how much it has so little to do with, um, you know, saving people on the streets or some shit like that, or like, we have to go on a mission to save these people. It's not really about that. Uh, I was surprised by, oh yeah, this show really is still, as dated as it feels, it's still very mature. It's still very ahead of its time. This seems to have so much on its mind. It really consistently explores its themes nonstop in a very aggressive way. And it can be so melancholic at times, yeah. and and, and it's not subtle, but it can be. It's in, in, introspective. It was is very like surprised, and it really go all out there with its sci fi elements. It was really not just about like go save people, and, and that's what I wanted this to carry on. So, as much as I love the action, in the first one I was like, all right, cool, kind of expected this with the first episode. That's what I like to see. It was really the second episode to me that was going to be the most telling of okay, how far are you going to push this? And are you going to maintain that? Or are you going to dumb this down? Right. And they didn't dumb it down. Like uh, uh, aesthetics you get used to after a while. And I thought the second episode really catapulted this for me a lot in terms of, all right, we're still going to have conversations about this. Uh, yeah, the dialogue identity. scenes are always more important than the action scenes. Exactly. Because you can't maintain, like you said, action. Like at the end of the day, John Wick is interesting because of the world you build and the action is exciting because of the world you care about. Yeah. Well, this is a great world, and the original show is like one of the best long form adaptations of comics. Period. And it's it was kind of an interesting way to bring back, like for this Marvel animation new slate that they're doing, and they're gonna have the Spider Man show. Gives but me hope for the Spider Man. They show mainly did the What If series, but that was an anthology with semi uh, serialization in there. 
and this is full on serialized, you know? And, I, I uh, admit part of my concern was that what if was so incremental. I was really afraid. The thing I like about the old X-Men show is it felt like you'd read not a graphic novel, but a series. Like it felt like a hundred issues at times. Mm -hmm. I was really afraid since what if is so like, I was afraid Disney would want this to be more approachable and they would see approachability by making it narrower. And instead so far it feels like the old show and that the scope of it and the themes and like the density feels like a long run of comics, not like a trade. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the rest. I'm really excited so far. I've been really impressed. And uh, I, I like the style visually more than I expected from the trailer. It does feel more like someone's drawing it. I was really afraid they'd what if it mm -hmm. and it would feel like they tried to make 3D animation look 2D like they squished it. And instead, it feels like 2D animation that has a bit of a 3D action element. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, super impressed. Uh, I was a little worried because X-Men are my precious. Like Spider-Man and X-Men are my guys. So they're held to a higher standard for me this so far. All in. All in. All right, Reject Nation. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think so far. We got our first two episodes. We'll be back next week with episode three. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite X-Men arc is. As always, please like, please subscribe, please share this with people. Do all the things that YouTube helps us know that we should keep doing these episodes because I'm loving this X-Men. We'll see you soon, bub. Eric, Eric Horstman. Eric God knows what you're doing during spring break. <laughs> I don't think he wants to know. I don't think he wants to know. Now, some people might know Eric and be like, wow, this guy must be drinking and smoking and doing all kinds of nah. debauchery. No, what Not he's out kinds. doing is he's hunting. He is lurking the streets of Atlanta for his next prey. Bing. But he's had to convert it into doing some justice. Oh. And if I know Eric Horseman, he's a social justice warrior. That's right. So he is going to become the very literal definition this spring break of social justice <laughs> warring when he sees any kind of injustice. Right. This person used the wrong pronouns for me. What? He's going to hunt that person Boom. down. <laughs> he's going to torture them. He's going to make <laughs> sure that their family that mourns the death of this ingrate <laughs> make sure to give him the right pronoun. Or, or if he sees someone screaming about Rogue's ass isn't big enough in yeah, the X-Men yeah. show. Pop, pop. Slice of the throat coming your way. It's time for Eric to get in there and handle justice. If he sees people abusing buzzwords like gaslighting and, and oh. narcissists, Use all kinds right. of things and triggered Use right. and mental health. Use them right. Just doing it for show. Oh, we know Eric Horseman. He's going to be gassing up someone's garage. That's right. Relatively soon. They're not going to be able to get out of the vehicle. Lighten that match. Set Dark it all up. Dark human being. Eric, but we need a social justice warrior like you. In a Kevlar cod. Piece. There's too many SJWs out there who are just doing it for show to get attention. Not To you. seem like they're on the not right side of the fight. Eric activist my ass you're my making a real activist. difference a real difference in the u.s of a the real social justice warrior around here